Super Monkey Ball and Marble Madness are two of my guilty pleasure games, and the perplexing ore bounce and roll last year definitely scratched that itch that I haven't scratched in a long time. And now Treefall Games is added again with the perplexing ore bounce challenge, which is more levels, or you can even say part DLC, or is it a full blown sequel? We'll get into that as we take a look at this and did this game roll into our hearts or was it going to bounce off to the next level? My name's Craig with Out of Troll Games and this is our review of the Perplexing Orb Bounce Challenge. The Perplexing Orb Bounce Challenge is a spin-off of the last year's game Bounce and Roll with 12 unique difficult levels and we mean difficult levels so much difficult that there's a checkpoint system. Even more lives and you're going to need them. One of the things I can definitely say is this game is hard. It took me about an hour to not just finish the game but also do the platinum, but that's not including any time trials. That's just the main 12 levels with the four side-scrolling challenge levels. Now some of you probably just heard the one hour and you're probably still stuck on that. Keep in mind, skill level is going to vary by person by person, but more importantly, the game's four dollars. And if you consider what movie in the past year, except for Deadpool and Wolverine, that's the exception. Have you gone seen that's been worth your four dollars? Well, I'll just let you leave a comment below so that way I can know that I need to go see that movie. But personally, I haven't seen a movie in the theater since Top Gun Maverick. Now, I can honestly say that this game feels great. And if you played the first game, you feel right at home. You know exactly what to expect. And also I can say that some of the glitches were a little fun to find as well. Yeah, there was a glitch in level 4-1 where the cage didn't reset, but you just die, came back. But keep in mind, you do have a death counter and there are achievements related to deaths, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. There are four worlds and each world has four stages. World 1 is the desert. World 2 builds on everything you learned in World 1 and adds different varying machine like platforms. And then World 3 is your favorite of all time, the Ice World. And if you played the last game, you know exactly what to expect here with the falling ice blocks and the crazy chaotic insanity of oh my gosh i just died i gotta wait for all these ice blocks to reset and then world four is the dungeon which adds the guillotine set move as well as some really incredibly clever challenges in the last world i'm not gonna spoil it for you but let's just say it definitely had me go oh my gosh are you kidding me speaking of world four probably my favorite of the worlds world four one there was that glitch i mentioned but world four two i was definitely waiting for a prank and then world four three there is a clench your butt cheek long jump reminiscent of super mario brothers on the nes like that world eight one you know that long one where you have that little bitty gap and you have that little block and you gotta nail it just right think that but in a 3D ball platformer. So what do we like and dislike about this game? Well, I think let's get the dislike out of the way. The one glitch I found on the cages in level 4-1 where they just didn't reset if I hit the cage wrong and it was going up and I died and just didn't come back. I would have to waste a life for that cage to reset. But outside of that, that was the only thing I can say that I didn't really truly like. Maybe one minor other grievance was that the time trials just honestly I didn't really put effort into and I didn't even see much of a reason to especially once you complete the platinum and you complete all 12 stages there really isn't a lot to go back to except for the fact of just bragging rights and having things checked off if you're the type of person that has that checked off but those things are minor compared to how much fun I actually had with it. The game's not crazy difficult. It's also not a crazy difficult platinum to achieve. And yes, I'm guilty of buying Foxyland 1 and 2 for cheap and easy platinums, but at $4, I cannot complain about a cheap and easy platinum that I had a good time with. And later on that shameful addiction another day. But if you're looking for something that is going to be refreshing, this game definitely has it especially if you played the last game and you're looking for more which i definitely didn't realize that i wanted more levels like this i wanted another game like this and there's not a lot of them out there also the music is great and phenomenal as well there's only four tracks which you might think is kind of minimal but in truth 
those four tracks do not get old. But it's, yeah, the game took about an hour, so of course it didn't get that old. But when you stop and you just kind of zen out and you try and nail the perfect run, and then you start getting a little crazy with it because you get frustrated. So you're thinking you can just triple and quadruple over, jump the few things, and then, you know, I'll, I'll just let my gameplay speak for itself. But overall, we had a great time with this game. If we had to give this game a rating, it would definitely be one of those cookies you get at Walmart. It's the sugar cookie with the icing on top and the sprinkles that you see every holiday. And they change the icing color with the season. You know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, it's definitely one of those. Whenever you get a pack of those, it's like, oh my goodness, they're so fresh and soft. And you just want to eat the entire package. And then you feel a little sick after you're done. I'm not saying I felt sick after playing Perplexing Orb, but I definitely, whenever it was done, I knew it was time to put down the controller. And not a bad thing at all. For an hour, for $4, definitely was a great experience being able to pick this up, play it, and just have a great time. And again, it was an easy platinum. So if you're looking for an easy platinum to add to your trophy list, definitely pick this one up as well. But you know what it did do? It also made me want to play the other games in the Plexing Orb series. This is a genre that you don't see much in, and I loved it every single minute. And so, will the games come to Switch? Who knows? But until then, we do have access to an amazing series. And if you haven't checked out any other, other Perplexing Orb games, definitely do so. They're on Steam, PS4, PS5. And again, we had a great time with it. We hope you do too. Thank you again for Treefall Studios for early access code. Our opinions are our own. They did not pay or any money was exchanged. And we hope that you enjoyed this game as well. My name's Craig with Out of Control Games, and we know that life, kids, work, everything, especially lately, has been especially chaotic and out of control. Don't let your game be.